What's up guys, today I'd like to share with you an interesting game between Pongolet Nguetelo and Chelten Nyasta. This interesting game was played in Stellenbosch in 2021. Um, Pongoletu Nguetelo had white pieces and he started with D4. Chelten played knight to f6. C4, E6, Knight to F3, D5. We have the Queen's pawn game. Bishop to F4. Perhaps Bishop to G5 is the uh, most played move in this position. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Bishop to E7, E3. Short castling, knight to c3, and now a6. Perhaps intending b5. C takes on d5, e takes on d5, and now bishop to d3. The idea was to exchange the pawns on the center so that the bishop wouldn't move twice. The game continued. Bishop to g4. Short castling by white, perhaps h3 and g4 would be interesting. Launching the pawn storm on the king side. However, white castled and knight from b to d7 was played h3. Asking the bishop a question. Bishop to h5. And now rook to c1. Um, developing uh, the last piece. c5 was played. Attacking white center. Queen to c2. Um, uh, finishing the development. And... Um, eyeing on that h7 pawn black to move black could have played something like c4 but white would respond by bishop to f5 and the game would continue normally but black played bishop takes on f3 opening um of the white's king and damaging um the pawn structure around the king g takes on f3 c takes on d4 e takes on d4 and the rook to c8 um creating i mean x-ray on the queen on c2 white to move white played a not so good move king to h2 perhaps king to h1 would be better or something like queen to to b3 which is recommended by the engine but anyways um white made this uh, move and by blacks our next move you will see why um king to h2 was not so a great move black played queen to b6 attacking the d4 pawn and after um white played bishop to e3 then queen to d6 check then the king had to move again which um kind of made uh the white's attack to be slower uh, on the uh, king side but the game continued king to h1 b5 now black is launching a pawn storm on the uh, queen side and is preparing to push um b4 in some variations um queen to b1 is suggested um but uh the white player played a3 which uh, stops b4 um 
and the game continued knight to b6 then um uh white played rook to g1 um eyeing uh, the king and putting the rook on the open file um king to h8 was played and yeah and it was white's turn to move um white did play rook to g2 but rook takes on g7 is interesting too perhaps a player like elif elif killer um michael tau would consider playing such a move in this position but anyways um it seemed that white wasn't interested to go for such a complication um yeah it may not be winning or it may be an incorrect sacrifice but um i think um this was worth calculating um even if uh, the white player um didn't consider this option or maybe even if it did um uh, i believe that most people are would definitely uh, be amazed of this move so even after queen sorry after this position um i think yeah it it is yeah I, yeah the engine suggests that it's losing for white but anyways yeah this would be an interesting choice but yeah white played rook to g2 avoiding all that complication and after knight to c4 attacking the bishop he played um rook c to g1 um f4 is also a good move suggested by the engine um yeah but anyways white doubled the rooks and now is looking at the g7 pawn um black played rook to g8 defending this pawn yeah this may be argued that um this is a positional uh, mistake because now the rook is yeah is doomed to passive defense and uh white is better in this position and black is also assisting um in improving white's position um even the engine in this um in this moment recommends bishop to c1 which is a strange move perhaps even f4 um i like the idea of f4 much better um yeah so the game continued uh white played bishop to g5 um attacking that knight and once he eliminates the knight there um h7 pawn will be hanging and yeah black played h6 asking the bishop a question bishop to c1 was played it seems that black was sorry white was not interested in capturing the knight because um black would just recapture by uh the pawn instead of the bishop which would lose the game anyways rook from c to e8 was played it's quite interesting that black didn't play the uh, engine's favorite move rook to c6 which would be better but anyways black played rook from c to e8 um with um an interesting idea that um that would that was a smart uh counter attack for me but anyways you will see this idea um bishop to f5 was played improving the position of the bishop 
then knight to h5 was played um uh black is intending knight to f4 and um and i think his position would just be superior after he achieves that goal yeah perhaps um <clears throat> um in this position perhaps um bishop to h7 would be better for white with the idea of capturing on g7 yeah but yeah and i think i think the position would be equal after um bishop to h7 then yeah the engine suggests to push the rook back to g8 but yeah anyways after this rook moves here then yeah white can even push b3 and then after uh knight goes there um maybe white can even consider capturing the g7 pawn oh this would lose the rook so because yeah he would even consider pushing the uh, bishop back and this position is uh, unclear with um, some chances uh, for white but anyways um, uh, the move that was recommended wasn't played and then um, bishop after um, White's last move, um, rook to g4. Um, uh, black played bishop to d8, which is a good move, in my opinion. That move, bishop d8, prepares um, bishop to c7, which um, will uh will just uh prepare queen to h2 mate just to show you my idea i'll just play a random move for white let's say uh pawn a3 then the bishop will move here and yeah the bishop and the queen are in there and black is developing his counter attack and hopefully the position would be better for him so um instead um, g6 uh, was played after bishop to d8 then um, white played queen to d3 um, uh, which is a fatal mistake because now the bishop can be trapped um, because after g6 the bishop was trapped it had nowhere to go and then um, bishop takes on g6 was played and after f takes on g6 then rook takes on g6 and after rook takes on g6 rook takes on g6 and rook to e1 check which was winning for black now king to g2 was played rook takes on c1 which is a good move and after rook takes on d6 knight f4 check picking up the queen and after king to g3 knight takes on d3 rook takes on d8 check king to g7 and black is winning knight takes on d5 was played then knight to d2 with an idea of um rook to g1 um then um Rook to d7 check was played. King um, to f8. And after rook to d8 check, um, king to f7 was played. And now rook to d6, which um, uh, double attacks the a and the h pawns. Uh, then rook to g1 check was played. And after king to f4. Rook to g5. And yeah, it, I guess this was time 
to resign for White even after Rook to G Rook to F6 and after King to G7 it was in this position that Pongole Tungatelo resigned the game. Well, um, they there is just uh, no defense against um, uh, uh, knight, uh, the knight capturing um, the the f3 pawn or oh, even anything that white plays in this position is just losing anyways and yeah the black is totally dominating this even after um the best move that the engine suggests knight to e3 which is a, a move that drops the rook e, white just wins the game after this continuation it's just hopeless Even um, even if White does not remove the knight, he plays something like um, let's say yeah, save the pawn. I mean, he can play something like b3 or b4. Um, let's say b3, keeping his uh choices open. The knight to e1, and it's just game over. Um, White. Um, black is gonna capture the f3 pawn and then checkmate the, the the white monarch in the next moves hope you enjoyed watching this game consider subscribing to the channel and compliments of the season to you guys best of luck in your chest barrels and bye for now